today we're back on Parque Fernando, but we're actually not going to be hunting the same lakes that we always do when we do a Parque video. I wanted to try some other spots, and along with that, I wanted to set up some tents at some of these areas and make for some better future Parque hunts, because I've been doing a lot of multiplayer, and I've been kind of trying a lot of these lakes and realizing there's a lot of areas that I just don't go to, mainly because they take me too long to get to, so... I wanted to set a tent up down here in the far south, and I've had one down here in the past. I don't remember why I took it down, but I know Black Buck will drink down here. Right now it's early morning. I wanted to see if Red Deer did, because I'm pretty sure I killed a Diamond Red Deer down here. Like, not too long after the map came out, but at least at the moment, I do not see any. But we're going to try to get one of these teal, I guess, just because we came all the way down here. We'll try to get the one with the highest estimate, but they're somewhere in the area of like 300 meters. So just to see, okay, that's a little high. All right, nice. So it's going to take forever for him to get here, but got to kill something if we're going to come all the way down here. That actually didn't feel like too bad of a wait, but yeah, 240 meters, decent shot. And I want to uh, also try some of these areas because I think Red Deer drink down here. I'm really not sure. But I want to try that out, like, kind of along the same vein as trying to, like, make for better future parquet hunts. If we can get any respawns, like, in some of these areas that don't require a tent, that's just a huge bonus. So, yeah, I mean, there are red deer down here. Doesn't look like a huge herd. There's a... I think it may have been a seven. Just, like, in front of this guy, but down too low. Now, the thing is, I don't have any of my calls because I did need to uh, take them out of my loadout so I could bring all the guns and still have the tents so we can set up. So we're going to have to sneak over there, but that maybe is something that we can get for a respawn. All right, there he is. So yeah, he's a small seven, but he actually is in that upper weight estimate. And he just went alert there, so killing him before he knows what's going on. I may try to get... Uh, one of these guys, if we can get a shot at it. I think we barely got, like, double lung liver. That was almost too far back, but... Yeah, the more of these we can kill, the better. Uh, while we're down here. But this is just one of those areas that I should definitely be checking. Especially if there's red deer here, like... I need, hopefully, another diamond red deer for the new lodge. Ideally before two racks come out, but even after... Because uh, we do have a lot of legacy diamond red deer in the other lodges. But still, like, I'd love to get one. And, uh, if it can come from one of these lakes that I never checked, that would just be kind of cool. But yeah. Oh, actually, that wasn't too bad. Further forward than I thought. Now, this is a lake I actually hunt all the time, but I don't really come here in the morning. I really only check this area like Black Buck and Mule Deer drink time. So I do want to put a tent down here just to make uh, even those checks a little easier. But I did want to see like what I have for Red Deer, uh, I guess ducks <laughs> that are only here in the morning, maybe. So let's try to get that before I worry about anything else. It's about 200. That should be a very doable shot, but um, we'll see. That was really close, and he almost fled, so let's just take it easy. The issue is the way they bob up and down in the water. Sometimes, like, trying to gauge where they're going to be is difficult. But I don't need to go rushing it, because, I mean, most of the times I wouldn't care nearly as much about a duck. But right now, when we have a new lodge and plenty of spots to fill, I would like to uh, get that. I'm going to check for his zone as well, because seems Red Deer actually do stay down here. But he's down to attentive now. And we're a little bit closer, so hopefully we can actually make the shot this time. I'd like for him to sit still. Maybe if we wait a minute. He's actually alert again, though. Now he's alarmed. I wonder if there's a puma over there? I feel like that's doable. I just gotta figure out, like, where to lead him. It's gotta be 
kind of high. Kind of the best thing I know to do is get a rough lead and then keep changing it and taking shots. God, he's way out there now, though. Holy no way. <laughs> well, there's a reason that it uh, can be effective. Oh, hi. This could be interesting. Okay, 300 meters. 7 mil, I pretty much trust wholeheartedly at that range. And a legendary puma. I mean, again, I check this lake all the time. I don't check this lake in the morning when pumas would be drinking. Please don't, like, chase those. Should be good. Actually, I might have hit him in the vertebrae. Okay. I think we just got saved by pumas being a little bit dumb when they get shot. Because I kind of think I shot too high. That was kind of nerve-wracking. There's also axis deer over here. Like, lots of stuff spends time here in the morning. But anyway, I'm going to set up a tent while we wait for the teal to float back. I'm just going to put it back here, like, a little bit, so... Like, I'm not right on top where the animals are going to be. Actually, we should try to get that guy, too, because we can still afford the hunting pressure. Try to lead him enough since he's walking. It looks like we got him, but he's the max weight estimate. That 210 to 240 range, which is pretty much all I look for in respawns these days. Whatever the max weight estimate is, if I see that on the high end, I pretty much try to shoot it and hope that it's going to respawn. But our duck's finally here. So he is actually a slightly bigger diamond. 47 is higher on the weight. I don't even know with the trophy rating if it can go above 0.46, but I think that's maybe at least like 960s or 970s from the old system. And I know I still reference that, but I don't know how else to like try to give a gauge as to where it should be. But then we have our Puma, which... I mean, there's a lot of troll level 9s out there, so who knows what we're looking at, but... I wonder how long this dude's been drinking to this lake every time and I've only come here from Yodir. Yeah, he is just a troll. 96.23's a good bit below. Need 39. And that was a vertebrae shot, so... Gotta be a little careful. He was actually just under 300 as well. But that's alright. Kind of somewhat saw that coming, just because they like to do that. And then last is our red deer, which I guess him and the puma will hopefully be respawns for diamonds someday. He's barely over that 210 as well. He's 210.44. But I want to go up to these lakes now because I want to tent like at the bottom of this one since the wind's going to be bad generally coming from this outpost. And I still want to check around this lake as well because I really don't ever do that. So first off, the only zone I have is from these red deer, and that dude is another, uh, basically the same as the one we just shot, like a really small seven. So we'll get him. What was that? That was a legendary, wasn't it? I think I messed up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was, or is he a big mythical? Yeah, he's just a big mythical. Still, I need to kill him, but I've never seen that up here. Maybe I shot something up here at some point and that's a respawn, but, whoa, <laughs> kind of some good animals at these areas I never go to. But yeah, especially if we can get both of those, that could be really good for uh, maybe eventually seeing a diamond up here for like a respawn, but we're going to have to take it slow because the whole new nervous state thing, it's going to be interesting to see if they come back or how long it takes them. Oh, how the heck did he get there? I've been looking at the small stag the entire time. Stand up for one more sec. Okay, so that wasn't hell. That wasn't bad at all. They pretty much came back immediately. But that's the kind of thing I like to see, a couple of like good sized stags at the same zone. So we'll definitely be coming back here in the future. You know, he's a very similar weight to a legendary I shot really far away from here. And I don't know exactly how respawns work, but 
I do kind of wonder. But anyway, I am going to taxidermize that just because I may do like a wall of antlers thing and especially if the Red Deer True Rex, when they do come out, look similar to the Legacy Rex, I'd like to have that up there too because that is a good one. Oh hey, that's what's spooking all the Axis Deer, so he's a 7. Better than all the level 3 Axis Deer. Now I am assuming probably both the Puma and the Axis Deer drink at this lake. That's a Puma as well, isn't it? Another 7. Uh, he's going down where I can't hit him, so I guess we'll let him go. He was a low estimate one too. But the Axis Deer zone would have ended. They stopped drinking at an 8. And I'm assuming I spooked the Puma. But hopefully we can come back here eventually and maybe go at the earlier time and get the deer zones because the one thing that's going to be good with pumas not starting to drink till six we can come in here at five and probably not have deer that are being spooked by pumas and actually get their zones but i don't think there's anything that special well <laughs> there's not anything super special but that is the diamond rack uh level four which i did shoot a level four diamond on the old system and i assume it's possible so if he cooperates I'm going to try to get him. He doesn't seem too keen on cooperating, though, especially with a puma up there. There's two diamond racks level 4s up there. Okay. So we definitely need to attempt to get these guys. All right, he stopped. Let's see if we can get him anyway. Of course, it's going to stop. Just I need one more step. And now he's not going to be broadside, but... Maybe we can still get him? I don't know where the other one is either. Alright, there's one. Now hopefully the other one's not going to be too big a pain because they're not drinking anymore. They're not going to come back down to the lake. But maybe they'll go somewhere we can get the other one easily. I think I got the track of the other one. And this dude is silver oh I completely missed his lungs I just got a spinal cord shot which does not count as vital I didn't know that spinal cord wasn't a vital hit but he wouldn't need to be 358 he needs like 30 more trophy rating for diamonds so that really wasn't too close now the other guy's tracks over here so we'll see if we can figure out where he got to Oh, he's actually right there. Okay. Didn't really expect that to be him when I saw an Axis Deer. Can you, like, stop in that opening? I actually make a long shot on that one. So, he should be at least a gold. And, yeah, he's actually pretty much as small as they can get to have these shaped antlers. But either way, good progress for respawns. And I think I'm going to need to change the time because I do want to try this in the morning. I have looked for Black Buck there, so I want to see what's there for Red Deer, Axis Deer, Puma, stuff like that, so I'm going to do a time change before we head down there. Kind of feels like the first time in a while, but I don't think there's any Diamond Scares here. There's a level 6 Red Deer, which a female Puma was alerting, and a bunch of Axis Deer, but I think the biggest one is that guy, which is just like a decent level 4. Or actually, probably that one. So we'll try to get both of those. And then we'll go ahead and set up a tent for this lake. So we'll get him, and then... Yeah, that might have been too high, I'm not sure. Died pretty quick. But we'll go and set this tent up and go and look at those. And I think this would be the one that we might have messed up. And it was just barely, like, top the right lung. So we should be good on both. And again, just hoping eventually something respawns, and I'm honestly just happy to be hunting different areas, because as much as I like Parquet, it does get old doing the exact same thing over and over. That dude was almost in the max weight estimate. It's 62.25 or 0.5 or something to 75, so he's real close. But the other spots I want to check are this little lake, because I know Red Deer used to drink here, and maybe this one in the top corner just to see, because I don't know that I've maybe ever been there. So... We'll give him a look. I mean, at least this lake's not a waste. Because I was starting to think there wasn't going to be anything up here. But at least there's a stag. 
And I'm pretty sure I found a diamond black buck track up here forever ago. So I'm probably going to go ahead and leave a tent here anyway. But as far as I can tell, that's the only red deer anywhere around here. Oh, wait. Wow. <laughs> Another equally sad one. But equally dead, too. So apparently two level fours and a female. Because she ran by me and her tracks are right here. But at least the nice thing about actually, you know, setting these tents up is it's not going to be just for red deer. We can try some of the other times and see what's here at those two. So I think I'm going to check both of these lakes just to see if there's literally anything because I just have no idea what's up here. But I want to look since we're this far up. Huh. So there are actually axis deer up here. None that are very interesting. I guess that guy. So good to know something does drink here. You really gonna, you really gonna do that? You wanna turn back? Uh, I thought so. Alright, so now I guess I'm gonna have to check around a little more. Because I kind of expected nothing to venture this far north. Because I just hit this lake and there was nothing. And I kind of remember going there in the past. It's like really open. It would be such a great spot to hunt because you'd be able to see literally everything at the lake. Just as long as it was in render. But... Unless maybe some other species drinks there, I saw nothing. So, actually, if you guys hunt that lake and you have any success there, let me know. Because I would love to uh, try that out some. I think hunting there would be really cool. But that guy's a gold. And we'll take a look around more of the rest of the lake. This dude was not with that same herd. So, I'm thinking there's at least, like, two different drink zones up here for them. Which is really interesting to me, so I think I am going to leave a tent in this area as well. I'll probably drop it somewhere up on this hillside. Because actually, access to your drink time is pretty much over. I think the only reason the other ones were even there was because they have a later zone. Yeah, it goes to 8.30. But I guess we'll go a little further. We might as well see if there's anything else around. So there wasn't much else there, I decided to come back to the Trophy Lodge and get our Red Deer and Diamond Teal set up. I kind of like what we have going here with the Red Deer and the Caribou. Honestly, as impressive as the Caribou and Reindeer look, you see just a mythical Red Deer. Like how much bigger it is, is just insane. But I got the Diamond Teal over there on the wall, and I think for now that is what we're going to go with, but I'm really excited to try some of those new areas on Parquet. Like we shot a lot of stuff that was close to Diamond. Like, maybe respawns eventually will uh, actually get us diamonds. I'm really looking forward to uh, some of that stuff. But for now, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.